Hello everyone, we are going to discuss question number 4 from MTP4. Here we are given that pH of 0.25 molar HF is 2.036 and we have to calculate the pKa value for the given acid. So coming to the solution part, first of all we will write down the dissociation reaction of HF and then we will write the concentration of HF as well as the ions at t equal to 0 and t equilibrium. So at t equal to 0 concentration of HF is 0 0.25 and H plus and F minus are 0 that are they are absent. At time t equilibrium x mole will be converted into the ions. So we can calculate the value of x that is concentration of H plus from the given pH pH value is given as 2.036 that means concentration of H plus will be equal to antilog of pH that is 10 raised to the power minus 2.036 so x will be equal to 9.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 3 molar now we have to calculate the equilibrium constant that will be H plus F minus divided by HF Substituting the values of H plus F minus and the acid, we will get X square divided by 0.25 minus X. And further, substituting the value of X, we will get Ka value. And in order to find out the pKa value, we will take its negative log. So negative log of Ka value that is 3.52 into 10 to the power minus 4 will be 3.453 so that will be the final answer option b will be the correct hello everyone we are going to discuss question number 5 from mtp4 here it is given that one gram of charcoal adsorbs 100 ml of 0.5 molar acetic acid and that forms a monolayer so in this process molarity of acetic acid is reduced to 0.49 and we have to calculate the surface area of charcoal that is absorbed by each molecule of acid and surface area of charcoal is given to us so that means if we can find out the number of molecules of acetic acid then we can find out the surface area of charcoal absorbed by each molecule so that we can get by dividing the total surface area of charcoal by number of molecules of acetic acid so now first of all we will calculate the moles of acetic acid present in 100 ml solution that will be molarity into volume that will come out to be 0 0.05 so after adsorption number of moles are reduced to 0 0.049 so the moles of charcoal that are adsorbed will be equal to 0 0.05 minus 0 0.049 that will be equal to 0 0.001 mole so 0 0.001 mole of acetic acid will contain the molecules of acetic acid equal to Na multiplied by number of moles that is 6.02 into 10 to the power 23 multiplied by 0 0.001 so molecules of acetic acid will come out to be 6.02 into 10 to the power 20 surface area of 1 gram charcoal is given as 3.01 into 10 to the power 2 so surface area of charcoal that is absorbed by a single molecule that is by each molecule will be given as surface area of 1 gram charcoal divided by total number of molecules of acetic acid which are adsorbed so that will come out to be 3.01 into 10 to the power 2 divided by 6.02 0 to into 10 raised to power 20 so the final answer will come out to be 5 into 10 raised to power minus 19 meter square and option a will be the correct one hello everyone we are going to discuss question number 27 from mtp4 so this problem is from quantum mechanics we have to find an appropriate expression for an operator which is given to us.
the operator is d by dx plus x and in bracket it's multiplied by d by dx minus x so to solve this kind of problem we have to assume a wave function that is psi x and apply this operator on that wave function now coming to the solution part after applying this operator on the uh, psi function we will start solving by applying the right hand side bracket operator on psi function this way we will get sd by dx plus x and in the second bracket we will get d psi by dx minus x into psi now we will apply the operator in first bracket to the right hand side function and we will get as d2 psi by dx2 minus d by dx of psi x plus x multiplied by d psi by dx minus x square into psi now differentiating the term x psi the second term in the expression x psi with respect to x we will get some expression and that will cancel out with the fourth term so the remaining terms that we will have in our expression will be d2 psi by dx2 minus psi minus x square into psi now again taking psi out as common the expression will become as d2 by dx2 minus 1 minus x square now removing the psi function that we have applied just to expand our expression just to find out the expression for the operator now we'll remove that function back again and our final expression will be d2 by dx2 minus 1 minus x square hello everyone we are going to discuss question number 29 from mtp4 here we have to find out the fraction of calcium atoms which lie on the surface of crystal and the length of crystal is 1 cm and it's also given that calcium forms FCC lattice having as length as 0.556 nanometer now we know that first of all we will need to find out the number of unit cells that are present in the crystal and that will be given as volume of crystal divided by volume of unit cell volume of crystal will be 1 cm cube and volume of unit cell will be given as cube of the as length so its ratio will be 1 divided by point 556 into 10 to the power minus 7 whole cube so the number of unit cells that are present in the crystal is 5.82 into 10 to the power 21 now we have to find out the number of atoms that are present in these unit cells as we know that one unit cell of FCC lattice contains four atoms so the total number of atoms will be 4 multiplied by number of unit cells and that will come out to be 23.28 into 10 to the power 21 so there are this much of num uh, atoms which are present in this crystal now we have to find out the number of surface cells in order to find out the number of surface cells we will divide the area of 6 faces by area of a single unit cell so area of six faces will be given as area of a single face multiplied by six and divide by area of unit cell that we have already find out so area of unit cell will be given as 0.556 into 10 to the power minus 7 whole square so the number of surface cells will come out to be 1.94 into 10 to the power 15 now as we know that there are two atoms lying on each surface of a unit cell so the number of atoms which are present on the total surface of the crystal will be given as 2 multiplied by the number of surface cells that will come out to be 3.88 into 10 to the power 15 and the fraction of the atoms which lie on the surface will be given as the 
नंबर ऑफ एटम्स विच आर लाइंग ऑन सरफेस डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल नंबर ऑफ एटम्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द यूनिट सेल सॉरी विच आर प्रेजेंट इन द क्रिस्टल सो इट्स रेस यू विल कम आउट टू बी 1.67 पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन इंटू टेन रेस पावर माइनस सेवन सो ऑप्शन ए विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर